not having to deal with that brawl on site. They've had to go and hunt him down C long. That, that's actually the spike as well. So that's a big kill. He's going to be able to get away. Just get tagged up a little bit on the way out. But numbers advantage will go over. Doma comes through. Connect here. Oh, the trade comes through though. Honestly, this is great. Very disruptive. Boaster's uh, got himself in it. A... Uh, uh, we saw nothing, Boaster. Don't worry. We'll carry on like normal. Make up for it now. Because the rest of the team's going to be coming up through C long, as you said. Leo's trying to deal with Boaster being a nuisance. Yassine's going to get himself posted up about 10 seconds, spamming away towards the plant spot. No one there. Time's still ticking. Fnatic finally get towards the site, but Yassine still stands. It's going to be down towards just the spike coming in. And where's that final player? Up C long they go. It is Wonka. Frenzy. And a tricky fight to be had here. Does isolate one for Chax there comfortably and deals with him in the end. Come back over the garage. They can... Got a tall order here. Not sure if they have any more, but all the sound information is going to go across. Finds one, but Mo will trade it out. Careful, love. Yeah, great trading from Fnatic. Just the basics here working very well from, for them. And scary fact it becomes for Guild. They're now a player down at this point. Safe's going to be forced to do something here. Make a move within these six seconds. He's going to find one. That's a spike again. Good work. But there's the catch on it. There's always that next step. There's Doma waiting. And now Sight's going to be theirs for free. Spike goes in. And now let's look at these post plants. It's still advantage to Fnatic and the guns. Well, they've collected a few. They're not going to be with the weaker weapons, really. Leo tries to make a step forward, but already you can see the omen sign to get to work. That's missed a gorgeous flank from him. The timing, perfection. He can fall away from this now, kind of late lurk around garage, and he's done enough. Bonker, this is going to be a very tough scenario to get out of. Yeah, this is the thing and again as soon as that lurk comes through you can see the discipline factor for fnatic now they're just like okay you do not need to give away a weapon this is our bonus it's uh, if we convert this it's huge they're just gonna let the clock run down wait for bonkar to make a move but maybe just try and tap this late or get an exit or two find doma now he's kind of boxed in here we'll find the second again on the bonus not too worried about that one on bonk meters you die from Oh, safe found no one. No worries. Okay, there's two. Let's go safe. Let's let's have a look. Okay, info found. They're committing to this one. Bonk is okay. going to put some work down. Mate, Bucky FC, absolutely getting bucked on this. And now Fnatic working their way up C long. And this is a choke point, man. I wouldn't be going up against this with a, you know, a team of Buckies against me. Look at the damage. They're all trying it. But Leo turns up. Didn't see anything on site with either drone going through. Fnatic will get in though, for free. As I say, that safe will find Mystic, I'm guessing, through the smoke. Tag. Spike planted. One tag for the shock dart. Not bad, but look at the old still available now for Fnatic. They can actually really convert this round. Chak's already shown what he could potentially do with this one. So unless there's something in mind, this looks like it's going to be a tough retake to pull off. You can hear the other ults being popped here as well. There it comes in. Oh, you are seen. This is a brutal round for him. Pretty safe though does find Doma forcing the fight to come out. Guild still trading effectively, um, but two players being detained. Yeah, the Rolling Thunder gonna get popped, but Mo has the Hunter's Fury, so he can be this deep here. And he can deny the defuse here. That's the beauty there of the lockdown going through it. It kills so much time. And when you're gonna try and play Host Plant like this, fortunately Guild still able to get the tap through, but I like the thinking. Kind of C to B connector is pretty rife. Draken's found Mystic. Okay, Spike now down. Here comes a bit of the problem. Boaster comes online, but quickly shut down. Fnatic now left with, what is it? Two players alive? Okay, what do they have to work with here? Both in the similar post pump position. Kind of could swing together. Plant is decent for it, but there's the cage. Now this is where the problems begin. They can get the spam through the wall, and that's what you want to be seeing. Nice work between Jack and Mo, but now just safe left alive. Switching it out just to get back on. He wasn't taken towards halfway. He knows that there's a time limit on this. Just gets off. I don't know if he got it halfway. Oh, the, the timing, timing from Jack is perfect. This is a little bit more pressured. Look at this. I love this pace change. This is a great look from Fnatic. Switch it up on them because maybe they're going to get caught in a trap like this. Yassine was used to this slower approach, but now he gets caught off. Boaster straight in there, but Leo and Bonka not going to let this go without reply. Great hold from Guild thus far. Yeah, Doma actually going to get shut down as well. So it's just Jack left and... I don't know how your scene lasted that long. Great recovery there from Guild. All that utility coming through in mean, the Rolling Thunder sent through as well, and they keep your scene alive. The kills got all in their favor. That shot dart is bang on the money. Bonkar gonna shut him down there for his third. They realized that they they were they had the control. For now, we're seeing a quick hit up towards B. This is gonna be just kind of try and see if it sticks. They are on the sheriff's a couple of pistols. It's not a full investment. 
No, and pretty much getting farmed outside the B door here. Guild only going to lose one for that and... Fake play. It's rare you'll see it being this well done. Left. And, well, honestly, Guild unprepared. Did not see this look yet. Have not understood this was maybe in their wheelhouse. And it's just something that was maybe called on the fly. Really good call coming out from Fnatic. And Guild, this play back in is going to be so tough. They have no idea where these post palm positions are going to be. No, they had Aldo going to spot one out, but... Again, getting in and isolating that kill in hell right now is going to be very, very difficult for Guild. So Aif going to creep on through. Chat actually down... Ooh, no, sorry, it was Mystic down to about halfway through. Yeah, the flash is perfect. And Safe's just going to sip this for a second or two. Jack says no. But so far, Fnatic's post plants are holding. They're in a good enough position here. Bonker's still there. We've got to give it up. It's, it's time to back away. See if they can keep those guns if possible. You can see Moe's looking to try and lock him in. Let's see if he can get them away. That's one. The second. Mm, Bonkar staying alive for now, it looks like. So going to keep the rifle to have fake into a C hit. This is gorgeous work again, but they still need to get past Rock. And there are still players present. One of them being safe. And he's doing what his name almost says. Tries to keep that site safe. And now look at the time. Ten seconds. It's dangerous. Ten Spike to be planted left. on the safe side. Good work from Doma. But now problems. Six <gasps> seconds. Isolates just seeing there's still time for this. Holding on. But another. Another bit of utility being thrown through. Where is that ultimate? The spike's it's down. It's done. Wow. Enough to get it down to SMGs. This is a really excellent read. You're going to have Raze around the back super early. Look at this stack out towards C. They can't peel away from this now. They have to commit. Good read for the execution. Let's see if Fnatic can still land it, though. Guild are all here. They know exactly where this hit's coming towards. Mystic still stands. You've got over here, but you've seen. Finally makes his appearance. Flies in around the back. Nades come out. Bye-bye. What a half this has been. Recon going to give away. I mean... No tag, but a lot of information that nobody's on site. You see, we'll actually find Boast over in spawn. Could be guild. But pretty much guaranteed spike planet will go down. There's no other contestant coming through, but Fnatic straight through here. A very quick attempt at a retake. Mystic will find two. Jack will find a third. Okay, game back on. A 2v3. The HP on Omen is super low. Half HP for the Sova. So safe looking to do some damage. Leo's going to get the attention. Maybe safe can catch the cross. I'm not too sure. Leo doesn't need the health. Apparently, there it is. Helping him on the cross for Killjoy. The one before. Oh, the swing out from Leo was so well timed. Bits of chat that I could see. So, you know, takes a second or two. But Fnatic are on the lower end of the purchase here, of course. And Guild should be able to make light work of this. Should. Yeah. You're seen in a deadly position. He catches this lurk all day long. A freebie onto Mystic. A bigger numbers advantage here for Guild. That's that's some sexy lurking right there. That's a phrase I never thought I'd say. But it is. You know what? The timing was perfect. He was proactive at the start. It wasn't here. just baiting. You know what I mean? Like, there's such a difference. And now you see, as he read it, yeah, he absolutely has. This is sick work. This is what you want from a lurker, right? Take space in initially. Forces rotations. Now, yeah, Mo can do some work, but it doesn't really matter. The round is, you know, put a bow on it, put a fork in it. This one's done, etc. I mean... That was just brilliantly played by Yassine. The amount of space, right? So he gets in garage super quick, uses that mobility again. As said, I mean, man's playing raise like it's jet, no worries, and just flies in towards garage. Okay, so the response is even looks at- Fnatic don't look comfortable. Yassine once must again- be nice. Once again, just gonna walk up and find a kill. Now, Boaster's going to kind of navigate through the information or the fake information that's going to be flying through, but there's the trade out towards B regardless. Now, Chak's done well to shut down Bonka. This is a really weird read coming out from them. So, okay, Draken's job was to keep that plant safe. Now he can lock it down. We've got three players kind of posted up, but it's a weird retake for Fnatic. Keep in mind, Killjoy doesn't have too much information. Boaster does. Now, okay, you've got Draken on the left and safe on the right. On contact, safe might swing and try and catch Boaster. Let's see. Flash to hand. There's the swing. Really nice coordination. Didn't get the frag though, but they're still able to isolate Chak. And now both of positions noted. Great work to find Drak and his overpeak there was a problem, but you seen no package delivery. You seen's an absolute MVP to me at least in back lines. We're gonna have a horrible round for Fnatic this time around. Chak gets into the action. Draken though from the back lines does find Boaster. So now they're sliced in the middle through C. But where is the spike? It's still coming in. There's Draken again. Finally comes through. Great positioning. Oh my Fnatic God. are dumbfounded. They have been absolutely taken to school. And now Mo 
30 seconds Is there left. any way you can Spike save planted. your team in this round, or are you over and done with? Is it map two on the horizon? All over the 1v3. Guild have a fantastic, fantastic setup to deal with this. See now, going to give him a little peek. Got two players deep on long as well. <sighs> Clock ticking for him. He's got all his utility, but it's so difficult to get yeah, anything yeah. done in this scenario. Draken playing this perfectly. No Just playing distance. Run. Once again, a Hunter's Fury. As I said, it's always it's had it always available now and it's just going to run the clock down for them. And that's all you needed it to do. And now, yeah, commit a player in. Why not? Buys more time. It doesn't matter at this point. Mo knows that he is going to do a great attempt. Wow. Looks like Safe has got the information at the very least, but uh, <laughs> what do they do with it now is the next part. Good time being bought. You can see the value. Uh, coming in, those Molotovs as well, doing some damage, but it's still tentative here. There is still a plan to be looked for. There we go, Boaster's on the case. Let's see if he can get this one through. Sick shot from safe. There, sprays in, can't get Boaster. But you've seen in the meantime, he's found three, and that's a mad bit of impact from him. Finds his way around, and that's a defused guild. Progression anytime soon, are you? All right, so they kind of hit the brakes there on the attacking side to try and maybe add a bit of your know, paranoia, a bit of doubt, and it's worked out well enough to cause them a bit of a surprise. Now, this is a good round so far. Keep in mind, Fnatic are on Sheriff's bits and pieces, some SMGs. It ain't pretty, but now this Draken's position for them. They may have felt they'd caused enough of a rotation, and Draken's going to have none of it. Like, Ooh, Draken, we don't, we don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Draken, why have you done that, bro? I, like, this will let me in my Draken, right? He'll hit the nuttiest shot. But that? No, no, no. Too tricky. Uh, a 1v2 now for Leo. Timing's pretty decent for him, but obviously they know where he was potentially coming from. Got himself towards the side, but player towards L. Takes the fight on towards side, wins it. Now there's a problem, though. You're up against Viper in a post plant, and there ain't no easy way to do this, but that could have been it. Great work from Mystic in the end. Something within their wheelhouse. Quick fight towards Chow's, and they win it super comfortably. That's the Jack you want to be seeing. That's the sky you want to be seeing. The answer, though, comes back in at least from Yassine for now. Jack's now dead. Oh, Yassine just dumping utility for Boaster. Gives it right back to them. Ultimate on top of Yassine and Drak, and they both go down for this. Not sure how he was able to catch out both in that scenario. I imagine one's fair, but two, not so much. I'll go quickly down towards the site, however, has got himself at least a step in the right direction. Now, what can he do with this? Can he isolate with that final smoke coming in? He pops it down. And he's done well enough to find Boaster. That's not bad work at all. Now the timing's going to be everything. That is going to be the ultimate coming through, forcing Mo away. And there we have it, Mystic. A man down. That's just a flag coming through from Market. So they have to be aware of this. If they go back to try and play these post pos positions, utility, they are going to have to deal with safe back there. Drake and actually going to find a tag on the recon and pick up a freebie onto Doma. So back to a 4v4 here. Okay, uh, this crossfire should hold. Mystic's angle's filth, so Mo should be safe. It's, it's if there's any other threats. I, I don't see it happening. Everyone's like super dug in now for Fnatic. They're like, okay, there was, a, there was a threat for a second and now they've kind of, it's it has passed and yeah, Mystic can just kind of dozy do around, play the corners. And yeah, no time for this. Bonker can try and make it expensive, but it's all for nothing. And through we go. Chak did find safe. And Mo's got Bonker. This is much better from Fnatic. Where no one's sitting in the open for you. can see them now pouring to try and deny the plan. Doesn't do it. Chak's there that time. Now with the Hunter Shuri committed. Beautiful work between Draken and Leo to at least get those kind of quick kills in succession to open up. To make this position harder to hold for Mystic. He pops it down now because he feels as though he's going to be pressured. And it's the right feeling. They've got to dig him out of this blocking. position. The wall blocking. Oh my god. Did Excuse me? Did they just galaxy brain it? Or, oh is, my god. That is that seven head? Did Leo put that down post? Presence noted. There goes those smokes. Bonker, where do you put yourself in this one? There's already a player towards sight, and the timing's excellent for the cross. Yeah, outdone in the end. Doma's there as well in support. Fnatic have taken this site in style, but they need to control it. You see, still putting down some damage with the paint shells, but spike to be planted. No way to deny it right now. Let's see. Not straying too far away from the site itself. Safe gonna find Boaster. Seemingly free kill. I mean, Safe is down to 28 speed, yeah. so maybe there was a little trade of damage there. We can't gonna go inside the Viper Ultimate to maybe find a ping, but setup's really good here from Fnatic. Again, Chak all the way over in Hooker. He's just there to play his life best he can. But actually, Guild gonna try and clear him. Potentially, Safe will fall. Leo. We'll find the trade. The tap comes through on the spike. That's going to bring Fnatic a little closer once again. Oh, we'll find Draken. 
I'm gonna have to grab this one in the bag. Nicely done. That side take was great for unless this becomes a problem. 30 seconds. Actually, left. don't look. They get the shot. What? Mm. Safe just absolutely spanked him. He came there to try and cut off any control there gained by the lockdown. I thought he was gonna potentially pop the no stopper to destroy that lockdown, but <laughs> Safe just keeps him honest there. The scene now looking to re-aggress back through Hooker here. This is a big 1v1. Actually, Mo going to come out on top of it, and that is a huge win for Fnatic. 5 HP difference does it. And now safe, forced into action. Nice, quick pickup on Boaster, but timing's everything. I don't think he's going to get the kind of a bit... Oh, the, oh, the timing! Oh, it's weird. It's wonderful. And there's going to be someone sitting on the diffuse right now. Leo's going to stick this one out. There's going to be a quick play back through. Chat cannot break it. He goes back in. He gets it down in time. And speaking of time... There is none left. Jack played that perfectly in the end. Big clutch. Big clutch from Belly Chat. <laughs> just going to bypass the Viper utility pretty quickly. He's been going to get revealed though on that recon. Mystic forced off the angle and lamp. So Guild actually opting to... <laughs> I was going to say, uh, push through, kind of brute force through this utility very effectively, but I guess your scene got tagged up and was vulnerable and died to the team, Molly. I'm not entirely sure there. Whatever happened, it wasn't great. Now Doma making his appearance, slowly just sauntering through the carnage isolates leo looks for a follow-up nade comes out gonna force safe in towards a more open position frenzy to hand and free to find hp for some of these is a little low could be doable and it doesn't matter boombot clutch shut up i love the boombot in the pistol round man hits with him flash out does he go for the swing yes he does that is the crossfire that is the synergy you want to be seeing look at this just mowing him down super easy walk in the park Fanatic name all the way down that <laughs> but on the that right was, side of it. That was so weird. I've seen this before. This could be terrifying. 24 oh, seconds is all they've got to play with. They've got to make the move. And do they check on Mystic well enough? They do. Great work from Yassine. He powers forward with safe. Quick little paint shell in towards that kind of U-Haul area. Lamps, lights, whatever you want to call it. I like U-Haul. It's the shape of a U. 10 seconds. Underhand goes in from Doma. A little gift. But the flash even better. Oh, oh Doma yeah, just sprays down standing. wildly. And saving the day is Leo. Finally, they hold on for a round here, Hypoc. We go again. <laughs> Don't say that. That's all I Hello. Oh, my God. That is sick. Jack, did you just read that? Oh, oh. oh big brain, Jack. And then the follow-up orbital strike. I, have to I love that. The flash, get him off the angle, Nasty. get him to fall back. Safe will find two headshots. And actually, we shot to clear that one out. And actually, you've seen the last man standing here for Guild. And... Round all but fell apart here. The back of some really, really well synchronized utility uses. The flash through the TP. That comes through to follow up on that. And Boaster throws down the orbital strike. It's going to be, I don't know, close as it can get. That was a ridiculous moment. But Boaster just keeps running on through. No worries for him, apparently. Safe's going to do the best he can. Okay, everything invested here. The wall goes up. Do they take it down at this point and make a little surprise happen? The off angle for safe. Now, do they check this? Let's see. Okay. Safe's got to play this so perfectly. He has to give away nothing at this point. And play the time down. They are both low HP. This is viable. And you don't expect this position in every post plant. This is not the one you expect. He gets the first kill, but he's now gone. He's shown where he is. And now he buys time, putting it back down. The Molotov burns Ooh, so close to that work from safe. 8 to 12. This is where it gets tricky. Smoke's down. Guild looking. To find a way through. There's the ultimate popped as well. So that's Fnatic putting up quite a big boundary. Mm, already the pressure of those mounting mystics in some. Wow. He's seen committed on that. I love the amount of commitment just for that kill. Yeah, and I mean, it completely opens that lane back up once again. Darken will find Mo. Doma responds onto safe now. Orbital Strike potentially going to get invested as well. That will force Doma out. Lamps. Yassin was there to greet him, but Doma actually gets the better of him. 
An orbital strike oh, in boaster. response, Boaster will find Leo and your scene with that one. Okay. Huge orbital strike from him. And now Fnatic gonna pop their ult. So you know this one's looking viable after the back of that. Oh, this could no. be the one to close it. Oh, Doma, you lucky boy. That just was in the right place for it. But now Draken's gotta clutch this out. Does get the tag on the side and it's looking rusty. And that's Fnatic. Oof. Like they might try and re explore mid here. Still, those two players tucked behind. And actually, the fault line is fantastic from Bonkar to set safe up for that kill. Oma will fall. Mo luckily was on the rope, so he did escape away from that one. And now, hey, Fnatic gonna sell a little bit of a fake onto B Heaven here. The wall and Oster showing presence here. So, two bits of utility noted on the side of the guild but they don't actually rotate look at this the hit doesn't come through and they're already rotating back to a yeah sage is still here and so is cypher so they don't have the best start to things already a trade out's not ideal considering the numbers did sit favorably towards guild bit of a swing on the side for leo didn't connect as well as he'd want but you seen's helping out there towards mo but it's booster coming in from rafters doing great damage frenzy looking comfy in his hands but the isolated kill jack's done well there and now 10 seconds remain it's the omen Working his way back through, does give it away. Draken's now on the side. Good timing on the drop hatch. He almost exactly with the spike plant and Draken. I'll play down in this first. The Fan Fnatic with super bursty approaches. Pound for pound, of course, they outweigh them when it comes to the you know, firepower by their side. So the retake, whether or not they can suffer through that, is yet to be seen. But nice little burst play coming out. Now, Guild, what's the playback for you guys? Trying to clear your back, making sure there's no one on a big flank, and there actually isn't. It's everyone posted on the site right now, and in we go. You're seeing gonna lead the way. We're already trying to clear the close boxes, make sure no one's five. There's two players by pillar, one towards main. This is where it gets scary. The frenzies, so good at this range, and so a fanatic. Bonk is feeling a little lost and outnumbered. Already, though, Draken's worth a good little step in the right direction. Player's Mystic, standing. this crossfire is too good. <laughs> Draken trying to dismantle it. It's not going to happen. Or active on, on Haven on defense. Ooh, God. As I say that, look at this. Ooh, and it's... How did they how did they stick that, man? Like, Bonker and Yasin, I do not understand, but... <laughs> Great timing to talk about them not looking proactive on defense, right? Flies in, yeah. I mean, and look at this, though. Fnatic responding in kind, quickening the pace a little. Keeps the trades a little dicey, though. Leo's still there, finding Mystic. Leaving it all down to Mo in the 1v3. Spike to hand, finds the first, does he find the second? Does he expect the second safe? A dirty angle, just a little trickier to adjust to on the ramps, but there it is. There's that defensive or rifle. It doesn't left. seem to matter, he'll do both. Spike now planted, the psych tape was done to perfection. You can see the paranoia and the pressure building towards A, but it's gonna be Fnatic with Boaster playing towards middle, ensuring safety, allowing that Sage, who is that over there? I think that's Mo down towards hell. Yeah, it is. Mo's just gonna be watching for that jump through. So, already. This retake is is hard to be found. And both actually fallen away from playing middle, kind of supporting more towards that B main approach. Good trades again. Fnatic, this is very well controlled. Yeah. It is an... Oh, I guess going to look back over the bulldog. <laughs> this thing as he hops up on the rope there. Get some damage in. They don't want him to save this through and... <laughs> uh, but gets himself up on top, trying to see above the smokes, but already here's the investment back of utility. They're going to push on this one, though. Here we go, Boaster. Keeps it together until Yasin puts him to bed, tucks him in, kiss on the forehead. Hello. Suddenly, there's a bit of a problem. Fnatic still with the numbers and the gun advantage. Safe can hold the line. Spike still in their control, though, so this is not out of, you know, the woods just yet. No, there it is. Nice work from Mystic. That's beautiful. And now Yasin, is this the biggest brain play we've ever seen? You just got to no land the shots. way. You just got to land the shots. Easier said than done. Surely they don't check. They do not. No, oh my oh, God, he almost oh. did it. Oh, Mystic had the seconds left. This is a lot of utility for a round like this. If anything, they've they've won on that front that they've at least costed them utility. But that's not the win you want here. You want the round. Now, safe. Yeah, it's Sophie's choice, Timing. right? There's no yeah, good yeah. way to go about it. You're, you're stuck. Um, and and I, I want to highlight as well. Credit to Fnatic for being meticulous in their anti, not necessarily anti ecos, but against a force buy against you know these kind of probably a little bit here and there buys. But Draken's still pretty well equipped and does have the rifle to hand, so Boaster's going to suffer that. And Leo, the timing could be right here, finds one. Yes, good work from Leo on the play back. It needs more, gets more. Doma goes down, and now suddenly we've got a round on our hands here, a three v two. And the other two, the crossfire's still in place. They can still try and take this one, but they're going to play into the smoke. This is madness. They didn't expect that. Leo. Maybe they did. Leo. Oh, one check though! Spins it around the man's a turret himself. 
Who needs Killjoy when you got Chak? Look at him playing the timing. He's absolutely done them! Chak just played them like an absolute oh fiddle. So well played. Who is actually? Doma got himself tucked into vents, so he's ready for that, but going to ready Drak and we'll find Chak. And that was that lurk the entire round over on A main. No revive on the board. Getting back on his feet, so. Guild will hold on to this man advantage for the time being. As soon as Doma shoots this trap, I think he's going to be greeted by a nade, and that's going to slow things down. There you go, the nade goes through. Paranoia from Draken. This is perfectly coordinated by Guild here. They are set up to greet Fnatic with open arms. Mo will fall as well. Draken, good for the third. Player standing. You're right. This is that's a really good bit of positioning coming out from Guild. Now Mystic does some lovely damage, but Spike is nowhere near him. Ten Time to get the left. hell out of here. You see the SMG put on to raise if the ultimate's there again. If Ooh, okay. the double peak. Yes, boys. That was dirty. That's Look at those angles to work with. Now they're going to force a res out and they're going to just try and build off this one. It's actually worked out well for Fnatic in the end. I love that double peak. I wanted to see what the end goal was and there sadly wasn't a way to disengage from it, which was the biggest problem. However, Guild now left with a bit of an uphill struggle. Three players to make it count against the four, of course, of Fnatic. Now, the spike's yet to be planted. That's still on breach, so we'll be working his way forward. Boast are going to be tasked with that, I'm sure. And there we go. Spike now. Kabonkar's utility. Down. Does he stop this? No. Not in time. Kabonkar has all of his flashes and his rolling thunder. Now, Fnatic with that plant, Boaster now has his rolling thunder in response. Draken, no paranoia, so he can't really do too much here other than dry peek these angles here and Mystic will shut him down immediately, so able to follow up onto that rolling thunder onto the back of Pillar now and Guild got a tall order here, a 2v4 retake you gotta find them, you gotta dismantle these crossfires piece by piece and there we go, nice face together, that's perfect and now safe gets put in towards a defensive role you've gotta buy time, don't be passive in this one and oh, Mo gets allowed a little too close and Fnatic get another on the board 7-5 half, so... It's like for Doma. There we go. Bit of information found. You can see the response coming in. Safe's pulling a lot of attention this way. Three players still here, but... Oh, he's caught in no man's land. So they need to kind of speed up this hit if they want it to still have that impact. And as they do, they do speed that up. They're going to try and make this hit kind of count, but there is a player kind of... A bit of a problem them. Uh, hiding out, which I believe is Mystic kind of caught in between a rock and a hard place, but he will at least cut off Draken from being able to do too much here and already in trouble, but Draken comes out the better of it. Time now, taking it down to 10 seconds. Spike is planted. Jack, too good to let that go. Boasted by his side as well. Gonna make this one a little bit trickier for Guild. And no, no spray down with the Frenzy. up, man. <laughs> it's like the Zerg retake with Frenzies. For Safe. 30 Free seconds left. Making the most headway so far. I'm going to have a player to his left. And the timing is favorable towards Doma. And as is the weaponry, of course. Safe there going down pretty quickly in this. Last and Fnatic play. have held the line perfectly. They didn't get overly enamored with the idea of fighting towards middle. Down that's Mo. Found information. Now trying to buy time. Trying to live through this. Probably not going to happen. Draken overwhelms. And as does the rest of Guild. Now Mystic going to be on defensive duties here. Doma. Trying to do everything he can. But it's Doma. Doma? Doma. So you've got Heaven now going to be pressured, and you have CT being pressured, and you also then have Draken holding the line. So that's where this playback really in through change. CT ain't going to work out. That was a lovely TP from Draken to be able to get that control. You see him kind of played without giving away that he was there. So again, nice work from him. But Boaster on the hunt for it. Wall goes up. All the utilities there. His position's noted. There's no subtlety left for him anymore. And it is just Boaster. And Boaster to die. That, good work. See, that was such a good pinch. Noise, but neither will really land or find much value here. You're seeing gonna hop out of heaven. Uh, chat caught sleeping there, just holding on to the heaven peak. Yeah, I don't know what really happened with that. Maybe something we didn't see, but what we did just see was safe finding two huge kills in the playback through, keeping the rest of his side safe to be able to focus towards the site. Mystic gets found, and now the playback from Doma is gonna be tricky. He has to clear this. He knows that there are players up here, but he doesn't know exactly where they moved up. You can see that time being bought for the spike to be planted. First peak comes in, but it's safe to find it. 
And okay, Guild, they're, they're right. They've held for a second or two to see if there is that. But it looks like they're going to make their hit. The off angle for Mo is good, though. He needs another. He gets two. Not bad. That ticks a box for them to potentially pick this round up. But Shaq now, look at this guy. He sits and waits. He's surrounded. He's in so much danger, but he's trying to find a way through. 14 seconds on the board now. The flash Great so work onto what you've seen. Where is the spike coming through here? Draken finds Shaq, and now he has to get going. Look at the time. Five seconds. Spike to be planted. Defend this with your life. Boaster wants in, but he can't Spike find planted. a way through. Doma waits. They know where safe is. And now safe tries to back away. Isolates oh my Boaster. God. Gilda playing this so well, but it's oh gonna be safe my again. God. Actually, the TP to back up. Boaster will find your scene. That's a big kill to open this up. Okay, Rez gets invested though. We're gonna have Chak finding safe, at least in the scenario, getting him going now drug at the back of sight he did tp back here but there's only 14 seconds on the board they do not have sight control they cannot get this spike down right now without some sort of threat coming in leo's kept him safe he's the god of this leo's doing so well right now dome has found leo though and now it's getting back on spike is planted one player still alive and that is it for guild bonker oh the mouse oh. will jump oh that could have been a problem for doma but it's all safe it's all okay goes over the chack i'm right all the way up. And Where did Jasim find that? I have no clue. How the hell did Jasim just get a pick from here? That should never have happened. And now they're going to instantly springboard off this. Oh, the ultimate from Yasin! Finds Boaster left. now. Doma. Where is he in this one? It's going to be Mystic on the side. We have to see where he goes. The spike's on the way back over. He's got Yasin down. Now there's a problem here. Guild need to keep going this way. They do not have time to back away from this. And Mystic is buying time. You've now got rotations coming through. Mo is there. The angle. Oh, oh he can no. land it. And now 12 seconds. Spike is going down. Draken found Mo. This could be it. Now one player stands. We have to go to his POV. I want to see what this man can do. Doma left in the 1v3 to save his team from OT. The fault line, actually. Done up is going to slow this push down initially. If we can find one. Mm. I mean, there was a chance there. The fault line. Knows what's up. Oh, he goes on the first. I thought he might have waited for a second, but no, he actually took the first kill. And that's an issue. Now they've been able to open up the site. There oh goes Bonkar. Great work from Doma to get this done so quickly. And now the spike to be planted. I wish there was a little bit more trigger discipline with Leo then. He could have made, made a little more of it. But for now, the retake comes down to two players and a 2v4 on a retake is tough to break through. Yeah, and the setup's good for Fnatic. It actually, Showstopper going to get invested. Oh god, take himself down and luckily doesn't become a factor in the rest of the round as Jack will trade that kill on the So anxious. So anxious. Because if it doesn't come through there and they're able to steamroll and find... So maybe Guild could be caught off guard. I wonder. Draken's been great at opening up before, but Bosa this time going to take matters to his own hands. Going to get him down first, but a trade comes in, but that's towards Doma, so they know there's more players here. Now that Sage should have seen something. Now does Bonka get checked on? No. Leo's going to find Bosa. Maybe an overpeak. This is scrappy. Maybe almost unnecessary to fight that much towards middle, leaving in a 3v3, which traditionally would be favorable towards an attacking side. Let's see what they do with this now. Yes, yep. Fnatic happy to back away and again force Guild to re explore the map. Clear through all this space once again. Mo left. coming all the way back over to hell actually and Nick now actually drifting all the way through spawn. A safe hasn't he has no information on site right now. The fact that he's tucked in mail, he needs to time his push perfectly. This push from Garage. Stick. Oh, oh no. Timing. Speaking of five seconds, Spike needs to go down now. Nothing can stop this. Did he get it? Did he whip that? 